Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with the final episode of Ahsoka, episode eight, part eight. Uh, I'm very curious to see how they're gonna wrap this up. I really, I have some ideas, but there's a few directions they can go. So I'm curious if they're actually going to fully exit this planet and pop up in the other universe <laughs> where everything's going on. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll just get right to it. Let's see what Thrawn, Soka, Bean, that's where all of them are gonna go do, and Balin. So let's see. Grand Admiral, the cargo transfer is complete. Good. Very good indeed. Is it though? They're still pushing Bring the things Earth in. Out of mm. high orbit so that we may begin the interlocking procedure. Yeah, here it Gomsky is. believes they have a fix on the Jedi shuttle. There location. is little the Jedi can do to stop us now. I've watched many an Imperial officer make the same assumptions about the rebellion. It's Even true. I fall victim to the heroics of a single Jedi. Bro. Never again. Come forward. Ooh, what's happening? What's happening? Are they gonna give her powers? Are they all gonna... You shall be rewarded. They're all gonna join the her? gift of shadows. Are you prepared? Yes, great mother. Do you pledge yourself? To the sisterhood, to the magics, to the old ways. I do. Do you abandon your old life for this new one? I do. Your loyalty? Your life? My loyalty. My life. Uh oh, what's happening? Are they gonna kill her? Take some of her life force. She gonna be blinded? So many questions. Oh, bro. Got the same eyesight as them now. There it is. Ooh. The blade. Oh, Townsend. Was he building one? Oh yeah, just like his old one. Is it gonna be a No, no, that's not gonna work. Look. It's not going to work. What are you talking about? The blade emitter is too narrow. Now look here. I've been teaching younglings how to construct lightsabers longer than you've been alive. That's great, but I don't have time for lessons right now. Stop that. Everything in here is organized. Yeah, disorganized. I have a system. <laughs> so do I. You, sir, have a method, not a system or anything resembling a process. Who taught you how to build a lightsaber anyway? Kanan Jarrus. Is that so? Yeah. He was my master. Taught me everything I know. Um... And I taught him how to build a lightsaber. What? Of course. Now it all makes sense. I told you. I taught almost every youngling at the Jedi Temple, including your master. Never boy. Caleb was very curious. A little shy, perhaps. Well, who can blame him? Those were troubling times. How old are you? Old enough to know that the relationship between a master and an apprentice is as challenging as it is meaningful. Oh. I love it. 
That's it. I had two of those. Kanan took the one, the other I held on to in case he ever needed it. Aww. It is proper that you should have it. Thank you, Huye. I was gonna say I recognize that. Oh, how sweet. Where did he get the kyber well crystal? Done. Looks like you were a good student. Not always. Miss Bane, does Soka ever teach you how to... At the end of the war, the Empire purged the entire surface of the planet, killing hundreds of thousands. Your family? We're all lost, sadly. At the time, Ahsoka felt that if Sabine unlocked her potential, she would become dangerous. Oh. I love this. Never thought I'd see him again. It's very rebels. Might not have. Giving I time for the moments. Thing. Sorry. You know. Over the years, I've made my share of difficult choices. Often, no one understood my reasons, except my master. Anakin. He always stood by me. Even when no one else did. No matter what happens next. I'm going to be there for you. Mm. I can't handle it. <laughs> no. Have you kept up with your training? I, I try. <laughs> I do. I do. I'll tell you a secret. Being a Jedi isn't about wielding a lightsaber. It helps. Train your mind. Train your body. Trust in the Force. Let's go. Uh oh. Hello? Just finished. You best react. Uh, you guys best move your pods. Just get out of there. Go, go. On my signal. Now. That was awesome. Except that. Rip. Is that who Yang outside already? She's like, yes, yeah, so about that. Oh, he Yang's like, ugh. Got him. It's very Anakin. I think that's why Ahsoka's not saying it. She's like, well? The thing about Thrawn is he seems to respect the Force, understanding that things can happen that you can't always plan for, so just go on the assault. You. You've kept her in this guy longer than I've been alive. Oh. Do not wait for me. <laughs> All right, oh, Ezra. don't leave him behind. Any ideas of what we're up against? Rain hellfire upon them. There'll be no negotiating with the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker. He did his research. Bro. Don't you dare hurt them. Oh my gosh. Trust me, 
door so thick? Dispatch to the night troopers. Mm, he's got a little light irritated there. Mothers. Don't kill Thrawn here. That it's time. Fall back. Draw them out. Oh, Sabine, blaster. Edra's fighting so cool. Man, he's so good. Ooh. They all played to their strengths. That was good. Well, maybe Thrawn is dying today. Uh oh. Oh. Did they not hear that music? Hear the bones cracking? Reanimated. This is so cool. This never happened before. No. This is new. Lucky up. Mass force push. Bro, that's Night of the Living Wonders. They just kind of overwhelmed them. Well, there goes your zombies. Nice moves. She's been training. What's your excuse? I missed you. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. I'm really digging Ezra. Go on, I'll handle this. We stay together, remember? You must stop Thrawn. Now go. She's so good. Very samurai. -ish. Where's the other? Okay. I got some legit armor on it. Okay. Oh, invincible. Okay. Reborn boys. He's like, bye. Me and mother's going. Come on. Take us out. What's up with oh, ooh. This zombie face. Is he trying to bite her? Bro. Push you first and you pull me across. Spin. Ezra. I can do this. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling dizzy. Oh. Ezra! The longer you hesitate, the harder this gets. Come on! Okay. It's so scary. Ready? Go!
Helicopter Saber. Oh my god. Oh, so cool. Oh my gosh. They didn't even show Sabine jumping. Your friends are dead. And you will die here. Alone. Not alone. Oh, Sabine stayed. <laughs> so Ezra's going back with Ron again. Dude, she's mad. <laughs> Did they feel it? Yes. Morgan is dead. She has done what was required. Sub five seven reinforcements have been dispatched to your position. <clears throat> seven five seven here. Copy. Oh, put it on the uniform. Oh, I'm glad we're gonna see more Ezra. Are they trusting the ships there? Oh my gosh. Oh, who Yang's not being left behind? commend you on your efforts today. You've been quite a worthy opponent. Can you not get me any more power? I regret we haven't met face to face, and perhaps now we never shall. Still, I know you, because I knew your master. I concluded your strategies would be similar. One wonders just how similar you might become. Perhaps nope. this is where a Ronin such as you belongs. Amen. Today, victory is mine. You best touch the butt. Long live the Empire. gonna refuel. <gasps> They're still being watched over. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about Shin and Balin. Oh my gosh. Wow. So the ship really will have don't care. Are you trying to lead them? Or are you trying to slaughter them? lead them. Oh yeah, and his freaking goal. Bro. In a galaxy far, far away. Feeling very Lord of the Ringsy. Sad. Oh, that's a cool alignment. Wow. Is that Dathomir in the it is, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think they're gonna bring Cal and Marin in somehow. <laughs> Chopper knows. Oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. I love him. Oh, oh. Ezra? Hi, Hera. Bittersweet. Mom? got away and thanks to you Ezra's where he needs to be and so are we I felt like nothing just shadows in the starlight what do you see 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 is it Shannon watching them is it Ghost? Is it Anakin? <gasps> I love it. Oh no. That was excellent so good i'm honestly very pleasantly surprised but very satisfied with the way they did this like <laughs> thank you feloni for giving us a lot of things i never thought that we'd ever get we're getting dathomir which is back they're going to dathomir ezra got to go back home is still alive theron still alive and they has got something cooking in the galaxy we're familiar with in another galaxy we have ahsoka and sabine with their Huyang left behind with no way, as far as they know, to turn. But not only that, Shin and Balin, which are not, which are separated, have like their own thing going on. Balin has this whole mystery plan that we have yet to discover that's more in that mad dark magic, very deep history lore, some plan. And the owl was sent as a sign that they are exactly where they need to be to deal with whatever that's happening and doing. Shin has paid her, creating her own army with these nomads. They got the red armor, she got the red saber, something's going on there. And beautifully done with Sabine making the choice. She abandoned, abandoned Ahsoka to go to Ezra, and this time she abandoned Ezra to stay with Ahsoka. Ahsoka had said previously that she will be there for her and support her in her choices as her master did for her and understanding the choices she made. And I think that was a big moment for S Sabine and Sabrine kind of brought it home by staying with her and trusting in the force. Maybe that force was sending her that message too, that this is where she needed to be. She was very conflicted, but she made that choice. So a lot of cool elements happening there. A lot of beautiful storytelling. Again, this whole show is done very rem reminisce of Rebels, as in giving time and moments for the in-between, the quiet, the character building, the relationships, the, the, the things spoken without being spoken, or rather the things unspoken. I'm really digging the way all these characters play out. Again, they've been through a lot of struggles. Sabine's much older, but also has a lot of that, that back trauma she dealt with, with lo losing everything from her family, her heritage, her people. And they kind of mentioned that and, and Ahsoka tapped into that and knew that she had to pull back in fear of what she would use that for because she saw that happen to her master. She saw that happen to maybe saw fear the potential that could have happened with her. So she was probably holding back for that reason. It's just this beautiful story we get to see unfold, and I appreciated all those moments they decided to take. Like, they started this episode off very calming, very, like, peace fat, peaceful, nomadic. Even, I think, I like the elements they bring in with these kind of quiet turtle folk, and very tying into the roots of Jedi, which is, like, monk people connected to the Force with meditation. A sense of peace you know we've been seeing they had this this goal this and to fight against Thrawn and stop potential destruction of the Republic in the galaxy um 
but they're finding this is their moment to reconvene with the force and this unknown plan that they don't know is set before them that we know is probably coming very much set up for a season two very pleased i don't think by any means they're stretching anything i think there's a lot of potential there a lot of exciting potential like we had freaking zombie undead reanimated whatever troopers which i know is probably remnant to a comic or a book i've seen that cover death troopers i think um and i love to see it very horror-esque we got to see relationships crumble and rebuild the family element and units a reuniting of ezra with the other part of his family like re obviously re reuniting with sabine was a really big deal for him and it was on a planet away from home it brought a little home back for him and then he got to see chopper <laughs> and chopper knew right away i don't know how it's not like he's got like sn smelling I guess he's got sensors maybe, or he just knows his mannerisms or something, or he just had a feeling. I don't know, like, how can you describe a uh, droid to sense? But he knew. I'm surprised Hera didn't, she just probably had, there's no way, like a disbelief, even though Chopper was acting completely. I mean, Chopper is kind of a radical all the time, so maybe, but I thought maybe she understood everything he said, but. And the look of relief and like, piece that Ezra, that Hera saw, seeing him again. Conf confirmation that one, he's alive, but now he's back. And then obviously we know what's gonna happen afterwards. The horror and shock that Thrawn has returned with an army, a Dathomir army, but also that Sabine and Ahsoka got left behind. So yeah, a lot of elements there. Uh, overall, the show was really well done. You know, kind of as expected, a slower start, something that I think is probably more appreciated now after you have the full show. But I I felt that way with a lot of Star Wars, but shows in general, like there's always a ramp up when there's such a deep story already there in the backdrop that you're trying to cover. Again, this is like multi beyond multiple galaxies and what we already know of the Star Wars universe. They're just trying to pinpoint where in this story, what exactly is the highlights and where the characters are at this point in time, the characters we're familiar with. So some slower episodes, but very strong build up, very strong ending. Like, I feel like sometimes people have been disappointed with the way some of these shows may have wrapped up, but I am left very excited, very satisfied and very excited for the future and what they have given us opened up in the canon universe. So yeah, overall, very, very happy. Definitely a top contender for a top, uh, top Star Wars sto story. Um, you know, Andor is definitely up there. And honestly, this one may have taken first place for me if I had to rank them. They're both very different and I treat them as such. Um, Andor had like zero force and it. it was very much focused on on the ground, you know, everyday person becoming, trying to fight back in their own way in their small town, interpersonal issues, that sort of thing. Um, everyday person struggles sort of, sort of deal. And then you have like, this is really like more fantasy, bigger than life story. So they both have their place, but I love seeing there's so many things I love about Star Wars that I got to see in this show. I got to see some great fighting saber abilities, the, the use of the force, like like the insane jump thing and her trusting those moments of like trusting in the force, but trusting in each other, reuniting together, the sense of hope, seeing the Pergil. I really love the Pergil and I love that. I love the references. It always makes me tear up. Kanan Jarrus. Um, I love that they talked about him again in his little saber tribute. Um, and seeing, of course, Anakin, the world between world, the world between worlds or whatever um, moment, um, bringing that to fruition in live action and then seeing like the flashback, just so many things, so many things were done beautifully in this. Um, obviously, um, a sad tragedy of the loss of Rey um, makes you wonder about the direction of, of the character's story. Um, are they going to recast it? I don't certainly feel like they have to because they really were, I feel like that's a big part of the direction they're going to take that story. So I'm curious how they're going to play 
that off. I hope they don't try to do a recreation. I think it's probably just best to recast it as hard as that is whenever you lose somebody. But yeah, overall, very well done. I think I said enough about that. Um, if you're still here, thanks. Um, but beautifully well done, good show, good music. Love the elements that they played into there. The costume was beautiful. The the fighting scenes, choreography was was wonderful. So yes, I just am a big fan. And the, and the introduction of the new characters makes me interested in them. Like ones that we, both ones we are familiar with, I thought they treated those well and ones that were new kept me interested. So here's the season two. I have no idea the timeline on that, but um, sounds like it hasn't even been maybe fully scripted written nor uh, obviously shot already so we got time but yeah hey guys anyways guys if you made it this far thanks hey appreciate it um i hope you enjoyed this reaction review it was very well done show hopefully you felt the same way hopefully there were elements that you could have appreciated from the show and you got to see something that you love about star wars in this show i certainly had many things um and if you want to show your support for me, um, my editor, Sons of Sun, and the channel, of course, you can do that by hitting the like button for starters for this video. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe so that you can make sure you can be alerted in the future for I, when I release content. Obviously, this is the end of a show, but we do know we have more things in the pipeline for Star Wars content. I can't say I know for sure. Um, if there will be anything in between there, but there's always a chance. So subscribing certainly does not hurt. You won't be bombarded. So notification, make sure you turn on that bell. Uh, and I appreciate you guys being here. And on that note, Star Wars is awesome. Uh, I'll see you guys down the line and I'll see you on the next one.